And, um, I hope you haven't sort of set expectations too high, but I'll, I'll do my very best. Um, yeah, good morning, everyone. Um, it's uh, great to see a few familiar faces from yesterday, which means that the TIA summit is not all bad. And uh, I am of that opinion, too, and I'm happy to see you all. Um, so today we are talking about cities for sustainability. Um, and you know, when we speak about these broad issues, these Herculean tasks for humanity, um, like climate change or sustainability, I feel it always helps uh, to break it down into something small and uh, concrete. Um, as a former boss of mine used to say in that sense, let's keep it brief, let's keep it operational. And uh, I'll try to do that in my uh, uh, remarks. So uh, keeping that promise, I want to talk about something uh, very concrete. Uh, one of our flagship pro projects uh, for us as a country, for Germany, uh, which was mentioned in passing yesterday, but uh, which I want to uh, explore a little further with you. It's the uh, Bosch GIZ collaboration on uh, green urban mobility innovation, and it echoes what uh, my Danish colleague ha had just uh, presented uh, previously. It is in the same uh, vein. Um, so this project is implemented under the umbrella of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, the uh, Government of India, and our German Ministry for Economic Cooperation and uh, Development. And uh, what the, the, the project uh, seeks to do is um, to expand the public transport infrastructure, zero emission technologies, and non-motorized transport. So a living lab will be set up under the project uh, where actors from the private, public, and academic sector will work together, innovate, and create, for example, on uh, micro-mobility, um, which, as I've learned, is a fancy word for using e-scooters, for example. Um, so when that project will come to an end, it has a three-year lifespan in 2024, um, it is our hope that it will have created, uh, implemented, and motivated others uh, towards innovative mobility solutions. Um, and I, I think it's, it's um, important for us to understand how absolutely vital and needed that is, um, because it is estimated that over 800 million Indians will be living in cities by the year 2050. Um, and at the same time, India is uh, still the third largest carbon emitter of greenhouse gas emissions after China and the US. Um, and even more importantly, uh, sort of for our purposes, 18% of those emissions uh, come from road transport in, in Indian cities. And those are expected to even increase 6% annually um, until 2030. So, and if you now contrast this against the commitment that the Indian government has, has recently made at COP26 in Glasgow, uh, namely that 50% of India's energy requirements shall be uh, fulfilled through renewable energies by 2030 and net zero emissions by 2070, um, you, you can begin to understand how important a public transport infrastructure and innovation in uh, in that field is, um, and uh, so transport infrastructure coupled with zero uh, emission technologies uh, will become ever so important in the future. Um, to round things off, I want to uh, briefly speak about the country that I represent, uh, Germany. So my uh, consul general mentioned it yesterday already. Uh, in Germany, we are on the cusp of forming a new government, a coalition treaty has been signed between the uh, Social Democrats, the Green Party, and the Free Democrats. Um, and I, I, it is impossible for me to overstate how central the issue of climate change and sustainability will be to that government. To, to, to really sort of put it uh, briefly, that's anything, that's, that's all anybody ever talks about. Um, and uh, rightly so, because it is uh, the, the, the challenge of our time, which has been uh, said before here. Um, so when we get uh, future delegations from Germany, be it from the public sector, uh, from the business sector, because that I believe too, green economy, green business is good business. Um, topics such as cities for sustainability, so what we talked about here in those two days of the TIA summit, um, that's, um, that will be the central subject. Um, and, uh, but I think uh, through so much such as the TIA and our general engagement with the business startup uh, community on sustainability, uh, we are very well prepared for all that. So I want to thank you all. I want to thank you again, uh, Joes, for, um, for organizing and putting up this um, great event. And uh, I wish you a lovely and successful day.